How are you, Virgo? Hope you're well. Hope this reading finds you well. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your personal reading requests, your donations, your comments. If you like the video, leave a like. And don't forget to click the bell no notification for more content. This is your weekly reading for the 11th to the 18th of April. Let's see what the tarot wants you to know, Virgo. Let's go. Okay. Go. Hmm. Page of Wands. Page of Wands. I'm going to pull six cards, then I'm going to talk. Or give the reading of those six cards. I think I'm just going to do six for everyone this uh, this week. I did already do some readings. I did record some readings. But um, they were in the dark, and it's just not working out. I think I'm going to post the one one that... Oh, it took 20 hours to render. <laughs> Maybe even took 24. But yeah, anyway, it took about a day <laughs> to render. Because if I do them in the dark, then I've got to add things to them to try and make the cards show up. And then sometimes, it, anyway, I just went too far. Anyway, it wasn't for you, Virgo, it was for Capricorn. But I might just post that one video because I put a lot of work into it and I don't want to, to go around seeing. So, like, Capricorn might get an extra reading for this week and no one else does. And I apologise to everyone else in advance. I don't know why I'm telling you, Virgo, but I think it's because you're on the Earth sign. Eight of Wands. Page of Wands. Eight of Wands. Ooh, elbow on the table. Wow. Two of cups. The moon. The moon is the ruler of Pisces. Okay, that one was wow, the chariot. And look at the way the the, uh, the moon dust is sort of coming from the chariot, from the moon down to the chariot. It's almost like this Chevrolet Impala has driven all the way down from the moon. Kind of. After the moon card. So that's significant. Ah, love it when the... Okay. The devil. So there I was, yakking about Capricorn, maybe not realising why, and then they show up at the end of the reading. That's no coincidence. Okay, so communication coming in. Communication coming in about love. Looks like it's from Pisces. Could be from any sign. Could be from a Cancer. Could be from any sign. Could be from a Capricorn. <laughs> Someone with a Pisces rising, uh, Pisces rising, Cancer sun sign, Capricorn moon sign. That's what I'm getting, so I'm saying it. Communication coming in. I'm 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 hearing from from within eight days, from you watching watching this 
Okay, so just just be a little bit wary. Are they around just for a quick thing, or are they there for a, a long thing? If it's a, if it's a quick thing, make sure that your your ideas are matching up. Make sure you just want a quick thing as well, basically. <laughs> um, but it's going to move quite quickly. I see, <laughs> like heating up, heating up, heating up, bursting flame, and disappearing quite quickly. That's what I'm seeing. Okay. Okay, Virgo. Make sure you don't find yourself in this trapped energy with this person. They're not returning your calls, but you wanting it. I'm sensing that. Or you might want a debauched weekend of, you know, that kind of thing. That might be what you want. And if it is what you want, go and do it. Um, you know, some sort of, well, not just some sort of, but a romantic weekend fling. Now, obviously, if you are already in a relationship and that would mean that you're being unfaithful, then that message does not apply to you. Okay? Okay, thanks for being here, Virgo. Thank you very much. Peace be the journey. Take care. Lots of love. Click. Grab it though. Oh,